Hi everyone, this is New Sensei. Today we're taking a look at another bow from Nika Archery, the ET4 Mong Yuan. The ET4 is also sold under several other names. Uh, you might recognize this as the Timber Creek Mamba uh, or the Elong Outdoor uh, Mugao Crab Bow. And they're all the same bow. You recognize the distinctive shape. It also comes in three colors. It comes in a dark red, a dark brown, and a light yellowish beach color. Um, so if you recognize those uh, sets of three, then it's the same bow. Now, what this bow is, it's basically designed to be a beginner youth horse bow or Eastern style bow. And the purpose of this is to introduce uh, new archers to this style of bow. So what does this bow come with? What you might not realize is this is actually a takedown bow. So this bow comes in two separate limbs. They join together using this one piece. Um, you stick them together, it comes together quite nicely, and then you wrap the leather uh, handguard around it. Um, a lot of reviews skip this step. Uh, it does take a bit of time to thread the uh, string through the leather, but otherwise it works quite well. Um, and then of course you string it using the step through method. Uh, it might seem a little scary, but trust me, uh, it is a very light bow. Uh, this bow comes in Oh, it's about 18 pound at 28 inch. So I believe if you overdraw it to 33, it's around uh, 25 pound. Very light bow. And the whole point is to introduce people to uh, perhaps uh, Eastern style archery with thumb draw. But you, of course you can use this with a Mediterranean draw. Uh, do be careful when you string the bow. Uh, do make sure that the string is properly over the limb tips. Um, the limb tips are very thin. Uh, you may find that the fiberglass might twist. So just do be careful, make sure it's on properly. Otherwise, the string will come off and you'll be in for a bit of a nasty surprise. So here we have the grip of the ET4. As you can see, it's been laced together. It's a nice fit. Uh, it makes it nice and comfortable in the hand. And do note that as a youth bow, it is a fairly small grip. Uh, people like me can use it just fine. If you have bigger hands, you might need a bit more padding, but otherwise the grip is quite comfortable. Onto the limbs. Uh, the limbs are made from a blend of nylon and fiberglass. So it does have a plastic look and feel. It, to its credit, it does have a nice uh, finish. So the fact that it's attempting to look like wood, it's actually not too bad. If we get a little closer, you see that the, uh, the print has some nice wood grains. In fact, if you go really close, you'll see that um, the, they try to have some of the grain texture in the limb itself. Uh, so it does, try, it does try quite well to replicate wood, even though it's very clearly a mold. In fact, you can still see the mold line down the middle of the limbs. It doesn't ruin the aesthetic that much, but it's definitely not a pretty bow. It does try to look nice, uh, but it is a fiberglass bow. So just keep that in mind. It's not one of those fancy wood bows. And here we have the limb tip. Uh, it is fairly thin. The string sits quite nicely into the notch there. Uh, and you can see in close detail the wood grain which I've tried to put onto the fiberglass. And uh, just a view from the back of the bow, or the belly rather, you can see that they've maintained that wood grain look all the way through. The string is a pretty nice string. It's a Dacron string. It is a green serving red material. Actually quite nice, stands out. I mean, imagine for kids or beginners, it's quite an attractive string. And uh, there we have the rest of the bow. While the individual parts might look a little cheap, when you assemble it and you put the uh, wrapping on, it actually looks like a pretty decent bow. I mean, like from a distance, you wouldn't know that this is a fiberglass bow. It looks like a pretty authentic uh, oriental bow and that's really what it's meant to uh, replicate. So with that said, let's give it a shot. 
Of course, being a horse bow, it's ambidextrous, so you can shoot from either side with either hand. So we'll start off with shooting some Mediterranean style. Again, the bow is very light. It's about 15 pound, 18 at a standard 28 inch draw. It makes it very easy to draw back. If you're shooting with an overdraw or shooting Western style, it is very friendly, very easy to learn with. Now for those wondering, I'm using uh, Eastern Vector 1400s. We bought these because they were spined right for our 15 pound bows. So it should be a rough for this kind of bow as well. And again, the bow will shoot as straight as you point it. So definitely a very easy bow to learn with. light it's pretty fun to use actually i made a point about using light bows and uh this is one of those light bows which it's actually really fun to use Well, with a Mediterranean draw, it works as well as any other bow, so no complaints there. So let's try a thumb draw. Uh, this is a very light bow, and the good thing is that for those learning uh, thumb draw styles, there are many styles and methods which require you to draw all the way back, like past your ear. So having this light draw weight makes it quite easy to do so, assuming you have the right length arrows. These ones are a little short for a long draw, uh, but they work really well regardless of what uh, technique you use. And as with the Mediterranean draw, this will go in the right direction if you point in the right direction and you execute a good shot.
You know, after using this bow for two days and an hour today, I was going to say it's a very fun bow to use, but that's a pretty critical failure. Um, nothing serious, just the joint just came off, just to put it back together, but you know, that, that shouldn't be happening. Well, let's try that one again. Yep, gold. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Uh, I'm going to have to watch that again in slow motion to find out what happened. But uh, that shouldn't be happening. I'm shooting just fine now. We've placed the, uh, the bow back together. Seems to be well connected. I don't know what happened there. I'm shooting perfectly now. <laughs> Overall, it's a fun light bow to play around with. Uh, I think it's suitable, definitely suitable for beginners, learners, kids. Um, I think one of the biggest assets is that the bow does come at a price range and with a quality of manufacturing that is suitable for people who are just getting into this kind of archery. I mean, in the grand scheme of things, if I were to create a traditional archery club and I needed a set of bows just for beginners, then this would be worth considering. Uh, it's like how we use bows like the PAC Razorback or the WNS Optimo for Western style archery for beginners. This would be the equivalent. And again, a low price makes it a very big asset. Plus the fact that it is cheap and fiberglass, you don't care about you know, it's durability as much. It's fiberglass, it'll take punishment, and if you store it um, in a cupboard, then you're not gonna worry about it too much. So um, I think as a cheap entry-level uh, bow into Eastern-style archery, I think that this is quite a good bow. Downsides, it does look like cheap plastic. So apart from the fairly good wood style finish, uh, the fact you can see the injection lines um, here and down near the handle, it does look kind of cheap. So if you are that picky over the look of your bow, this might not appease you. Uh, the major thing, as you saw before, was it kind of spontaneously fell apart. So uh, that is, I mean, nothing's wrong with the bow. Like nothing bad happened to it. Uh, nothing bad happened to me, uh, but that would definitely shock someone. So I'm not exactly sure why that happened, but the fact that it happened, bit of a thumbs down there. So I'm um, not sure if there's a fault that can be fixed or it's an inherent flaw in the design, but uh, it happened um, and I'm surprised. I was honestly gonna give this a uh, flying colors review. I shot it yesterday, I shot it today, didn't have a problem with it until that shot. So take it as you will. Um, I, I, I didn't think that would happen, um, but you've seen it. So uh, I don't think it's a major downside as long as the, you check that the strings are correctly on the limbs, that the, um, the, the, the limbs are tight together. It should be okay. But if you don't check and get careless between shots, then that might be a big turn off for you. But to be honest and being serious, I did have a lot of fun using this bow. It's light, it's easy to pick up, it's easy to learn with, with both styles of shooting. And yeah, apart from that one accident, I think this bow is um, worth the price. I think it's worth picking up if you're looking at a cheap way to get into this kind of archery. And yeah, apart from that, it was a pretty nice bow to use. Anyway, this is New Sensei. Hope you found this helpful. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.